I'm Aaron Canada alongside John Schiffner on the Manager Show on the Cape Cod Baseball Network. And Schiff, final two games of the season and uh, both against Orleans, jockeying for position in the Eastern Division. Do you guys want to play spoiler tonight? Oh, we're going to try. That's what we've been telling the guys for the last couple of weeks. I mean, let's, you know, let's, let's beat somebody and upset them. You know, let's uh, try to make teams not want to play us. And uh, hopefully we've got to that point where we can do that. It'd be, you know, that'd be a little incentive for us. Certainly did that on Sunday afternoon against Harwich, uh, putting up 10 runs and doubling up the Mariners at their place. Good game. Everything worked out very. Dominic was excellent. The bullpen was fantastic. We got some clutch hits, big hits. You know, that's the way we should play, and that's the way we we thought we could play most of the year. And, you know, it's, it's nice to see. It's just a little too little too late, I guess. A little bit of deja vu there in the middle of the game. Chris Stratton throws one pitch and has to go down with an injury, just like the last time we were there, we saw right. the starting pitcher take one warm-up pitch and, and have to leave. Yeah, that's, you hate to see that. You know, you don't want to see any injuries, no matter if it's your team, the other team. You know, it, it's such a fine line here, and it's so important for kids. And, uh, you know, getting an injury here, you know, hopefully it's nothing serious. Uh, I don't know, you know, he threw a pitch, and that was it. I don't know, you know, what happened, where it was, what was wrong. I have not heard. I didn't get a chance to talk to Steve after the game or, or since. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's just a little tweak and they're just being overcautious, which, which is what you would hope. How do you feel about the Western Division? Have you uh, kept up with that race at all? Eh, a little bit here and there. You know, it's, uh, you know, I think it's it's great. Katu, it's making a run. It makes it fun. You know, keeps you interested, and uh, which gives me a chance to tell you how proud I am of my guys. I mean, we've been pretty much out of it for a while, not mathematically till late last week, but uh, you know, it, it really give these kids a lot of credit for sticking it out, knowing that there you know, it was almost a miracle to make the playoffs, uh, and they've hung in there and they played hard and they've you know, re, you know, reaped the rewards. They got a few wins under their belt. Had some pretty good games under their belt. So, you know, we're we're feeling that we've almost reached our goals of accomplishing what we wanted to accomplish. Tim Cooney, the left-hander out of Wake Forest, going tonight. How do you feel about his progression and development over the course of the summer? Well, he's done a great job. He, he's done everything we expected him to do. We knew he was going to be one of the solid pitchers that we had, starting pitchers. He came here with a great reputation you know, out of Wake. He's one of the top pitchers in the ACC, left-handed especially. And he has not done anything to hurt that. You know, He's done a very good job. And I think you know, he really threw some exceptional games in the middle of the season when the scouts were here. So I think that's going to really get, you know, when, when he's on board for uh, on the board to pitch on a, you know, an ACC week, and I think there's going to be a lot of people there watching him. As a manager, how important is, is it to you to have a couple of left-handed options, both in the rotation and out of the pen? It's nice to have, and that's where, you know, we got hamstrung uh, in the recruiting process, uh, you know, and in, in losing play. You know, it's a big loss, and we didn't get Rodriguez to come in from University of Florida. That was huge. You know, that's that's just another left-handed arm, whether you spot start Paco or he was going to be a starter, or we're going to use him strictly as a, you know, late pen guy. That was big for us, and, uh, you know, I'd love to have a few more lefties on the staff, but, you know, sometimes they're not available, sometimes they, you know, we lost some in the way early recruiting that ju the coaches pulled them in over the winter, actually, that they weren't prepared for the Cape. So that, you know, it, it's all part of the process. But, you know, it, you can off balance not having a lefty if you have right handers that have good change ups. You know, that, that, that can help. You got a right handed pitcher who's probably his second best pitch, could be his change up, and his fastball is his best pitch, his slider or, bra or breaking pitch is his third pitch. Yeah, that guy can, you know, almost take advantage of the lefties as long as he has that change up that run, runs away from the left handed barrel working with batters uh, on the opposite side of things guys that may or may not have had too much experience with lefties how do you get them prepared to see not only the best competition in the in the country but also those big time lefties well, you just got to tell them to stay in there. But don't bail out. You know, you got to stay in there and don't bail. <laughs> Unfortunately, every once in a while, you might take one in the ribs or in the thigh uh, because you, you're 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 taught not to bail because of the left-handed curveball. And all of a sudden, oops, that wasn't a curveball. Ouch, it got me. But uh, you know, you need him to keep the front shoulder closed. You need him to really concentrate on going up the middle, opposite field, which you know, so you don't pull off the ball. If you pull off the ball on the pitcher throwing, you know, on your side of the plate, then you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be way out in front. You're going to be striking out a lot. And that's you know, that's the thing about seeing such good lefties in this league, the left-handed batters are, are automatically better when they go back in the fall just because of all the lefties they've seen. Now, this summer we've talked uh, at length about the things that you're trying to get across to your players as far as their development is concerned. And one of the big, th big things we talked about is taking pitches and making opposing pitchers work. Is that is that kind of been a mantra for you all along, or, or are there certain things over the course of the years that you found that you focus on in particular in, in different summers? Well, no, it, that's a pretty much a, that's a basic. I mean, you really need to extend the at-bat. You want to extend, you know, you really don't want to jump all over first pitch unless there's men on base, you know, or, you know, there's times when you 
absolutely don't want to hit first pitch. And there's times that, well, that's okay. There's a there's a green light to go after the first pitch. But there's some times where you, you know, uh, if you're not getting hits right now, you're not getting runs, well, you want to wear, wear that pitcher out a little bit. So you're going to be taking more strikes. You're not going to be swinging at as many pitches as you, you know, normally want to. You'll take a pitch, even though it's a strike, just to extend that at bat, foul the pitch off if you can. And, you know, if you get a five five pitch at bat or more, we'll, we'll call that a quality at bat in, at some case because you've extended that pitcher. And if he's throwing 15 to 20 pitches, 15, 20, 22 pitches per inning, you're going to get him tired out real fast. And in most cases, although not always necessarily the case, if you get to the middle pen of some teams, whether it's, you know, the big leagues or here, you're, you've got a shot because everybody has great starting pitching. Everybody has unbelievable you know, back ends of the pen. The middle may not be as strong, so you might be able to get there and maybe get some base hits, get some runs going, and then keep those keep those big arms in the bullpen. That's 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 the theory. But down here, with the ability to, you know, some te- some teams are keeping 15, 16 pitchers on their staff. Even their middle is real strong, so it's you know not real easy to do. He's John Schiffner. I'm Aaron Canada. It's the Manager's Show on the Cape Cod Baseball.